So today's latest Nintendo Direct had a lot of stuff uh, built off of Nintendo's past. And today we had a chance to look at those games and play some of them. What were some of the games that you played particularly? Uh, yeah, so we were at the Nintendo Software Showcase and we played Link to the Past 2, Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D, uh, Mario vs. Donkey Kong Minis on the Move, Animal Crossing New Leaf, and Mario Luigi Dream Team. They also had uh, Lego City Undercover for the 3DS. Yes. And uh, Dylan's uh, Rolling Western 2, I believe. Yes. But we kind of want to talk about the, the mainstream Nintendo games yep. coming from, from Nintendo, the Marios and the Zeldas. Yeah. Um, I mean, first of all, all these games are really high quality. Yeah. No, yeah. I mean, they, they are. They're, they're, <laughs> they're really fun to play. Yeah. They're not bad, just, you know, outside of the vacuum of nostalgia, these are great games. But that's the thing is that Nintendo is clearly leaning so hard on nostalgia here. Yeah, it's, it's become cliche to mention nostalgia when we talk about Nintendo. But it almost feels impossible to go in another direction because Nintendo is is like they're very seeped in it, and when you see the games today, it's it's remakes, as in the case of Donkey Kong, or it's game if or very similar feeling games in the case of Mario, Luigi, and Animal Crossing and Yoshi's Island, and it just it feels like Nintendo's kind of stuck in this retreading old ideas over and over again. There's a definite lack of I'd say innovation on their part. They, yeah, they seem interested in introducing these old properties onto new hardware and taking advantage of the capabilities in some way to to repackage some of this stuff. Yeah, like there is the 3D visuals still, yeah. I guess. I guess that's the one kind of nod to the to their future. But there's, there's a lot of games that look towards the past. Uh, you have examples like Spelunky and you have Super Meat Boy and there's a lot, there's countless other ones. But whereas they're like rooted in the foundation of what made the original Mario games, for instance, great, they build and they're new on their own. Yeah. Um, these games build on the past and stay there. Because uh, we play, we both played Zelda. Yeah. Um, and we both loved Link to the Past. But like this, it feels like the same game. I mean, the final boss is like a snake and you have to get behind the snake and you, you hit his tail. It doesn't, um, just, it doesn't just seem the same. I mean, we've, we've played that before. We've actually played that boss fight before. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, and even the elements inside the dungeon outside of enemies are very similar. They had a new mechanic. But really, these games were, they had an impact when they were released because yeah. there was nothing like them beforehand. And obviously, nostalgia works on plucking you know, those strings where yeah. it's like, you remember that. You want more of that. You like the good times. So why not feel it again? But Nintendo's been doing this now for so long. One begins to wonder, is this their plan from here on out? Like, is, are they no longer willing to take a risk? Well, it's, it's interesting you talk about, like, you know, they use enemies and stuff. Because when Reggie fils was on the Nintendo Direct, he said, I have a big announcement, and then he plays the, the yeah. Zelda chime. Doo, 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 doo. And it's, yeah. it's like Pavlov's dog. Like, we drool when we hear these noises and we see these names, and Nintendo yeah. knows that we're going to have that reaction. But I guess at a certain point, if I'm not getting anything new, I'm not going to drool. And yeah. it's kind of getting to that point for me where it just feels like I've played this before. Yeah. I love Zelda. I, yeah. want, I want more Zelda. <laughs> yes. What do you have for me? And it's a sequel to one of the greatest games that you're not going to be able to talk. I don't, I don't think, especially when so much of it is grounded in reminding you of what yeah. it once was. Yeah, and this sounds really negative. And the thing is, um, these games are really good, yeah. and it kind of makes me have this theory of like, so I, I've never played Fire Emblem before, and then this new Fire Emblem Awakening came out earlier this year. So I played it, and I loved it. And I kind of imagine that if you've never played Zelda, or you've only played one or two, or you've never played Mario and Luigi, uh, when you play these games, you're going to be blown away because they are such high quality games and there's nothing else like them like from another company yeah but for people like us like i've played 25 years of zelda yeah i've played every mario and luigi game i've played every animal crossing game like i don't i don't feel like they're catering to me anymore i think they're catering to like a new generation of nintendo players and leaving the old ones behind who want yeah. something new who wants to see the industry grow in some way yeah i mean they have an opportunity to like you said introduce this to people who haven't experienced yeah. it before and that's you know a large part due to the new hardware you know, I'm, I'm sort of of the opinion where I feel I can't be taken advantage of in that way anymore. And I say advantage like it's a bad thing. Like, I, I like nostalgia. Like, the fact, oh, that, yes. the fact that Earthbound is, is finally coming out, I think that's wonderful. Yeah. You know, but that, that's a game that we haven't seen or heard anything from in a long time, especially in North America. So there's, there's been three total games in the series. Only one's been in America, yeah. and it hasn't been re-released in any form ever. Yeah, so there's, ever. there's this other factor where yeah. it makes a lot of sense. And I don't feel so bad being excited about it. 
but I feel like Nintendo needs to do something different to keep me interested in that. The, the, the best game I saw today, and this is going to sound weird because there's a new Zelda game, but was the Mario uh, versus Donkey Kong game, yeah. uh, Minis on the Move. And it's because I'd never played anything like it before. It's a, it's a puzzle tile game. And they stamped on the familiar icons that we know. You yeah. know, Princess is in the game and Mario. Yeah. But they used all new gameplay. And I think that's where Nintendo's at their best, and they did it with Nintendo Land, and we've seen it in the past um, with you know, uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn. We've seen them go in a new direction with old characters. Right. And I think that that's okay to re rely on your established franchises if you're taking them in a new direction. I just don't think it's okay to repackage Animal Crossing for a fourth time. Yeah. And that's where, I was, that's where I was stumped today, that I was frustrated. Our discussion with Bill Trinan that uh, Giancarlo had, yeah. you know, he had asked him, you know, are you guys wary of risk at this point? Mm -hmm. And his answer was no, we actually find it um, rewarding to take a new idea, utilize it, but package it in a, in a way that makes it Nintendo. Old Nintendo, ha took, they, they, they took risks, and by oh, that yeah. I mean they introduced new characters, new worlds. We haven't seen anything really new from them in quite some time, unless it's been from a and like a, a studio that they own. But you know, it, it's never from themselves, and I feel like they're putting a lot of that weight on third parties. Yeah. Um, something like Bravely Default. You know, Square Enix made a great game. It's not called Final Fantasy. I see Nintendo. It's a chance for them to get a brand that will be just on a Nintendo platform. Mm -hmm. And I know there's like a PC game coming out for Bravely, Bravely Default, but they need that. You know, yeah. no one from Sony, like, who enjoys Sony games and, and owns an Xbox is thinking, oh, Mario Party? <laughs> I can't wait to buy a 3DS and I can play Mario Party. There's or, been nine of them already, 10 maybe. Yeah, I mean, there's a point where you have to find a new audience or you have to maintain your old audience or you do something different and you try to move on. And I think Nintendo's at the point where they've hit the limit for those other options and it's time to do something different. Yeah, see, I feel like they could do a better job of including you and me, their, their established audience, as well as bring people in. And you look in the past, and when they introduced the first Animal Crossing, and the first Luigi's Mansion, and the first Peekman, and they're all about a decade old at this point, a, yeah. little, a little older, those were all so new and so fresh, but they yeah. were clearly Nintendo games. Definitely. And they need to do things like that again, even if you are using you know, Luigi, even if you are using someone we recognize. If you can create a world around that that's new, uh, I think we'll be more accepting, and then you get you get the you know the the people who are growing up, and you get us still, as opposed to just kind of making us bored of this. I th I think I might actually be too bored of Mario and Luigi oh. as characters in that world at this point. I, you know, I think about a game like Super Mario Galaxy. Yeah, a fantastic game. I have no qualms that it's a Mario title. Like I I really enjoyed playing it. Yes. But most of that was because of the gameplay. It was not because of Mario. If if say Nintendo had a great concept. Rather than just pigeonholing it into a Mario or a Donkey Kong game, create something new. Create a new world, create new characters, breathe some life into your company and your brand, rather than looking, you know, from the outside, like you only know how to do one thing. Even if the innards are different, it still seems a little bit repetitive to constantly rely on the same characters. It's like Disney or Warner Brothers repurposing, you know, Mickey Mouse or Looney yeah. Tunes. There's a point where your brand becomes stale. And I'm concerned that Nintendo is getting pretty close to that point. Wow. Okay. So I'm talking about the brand. The games are still high. quality. They are still high quality. Like that's the weird thing when we talk about this is like I I enjoyed all these and I played the demos to the end. So it's 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 tough to be critical and, and still say that we love this stuff. But yeah. That's what that's the, what we're trying to do. But it's so I think we're both disappointed. I think I'm more sad and you're more angry at this. Yeah. So I, I think we're both looking forward to see what they can do.